I've got this piece of plywood that, uh, laid out here now with all the angles and all the pieces that I'm going to need to make the gussets now. So the first one up here is where this king post meets my top cord. Make it a gusset for that. And that fits on this plan right here, but it'll also work for this other plan over here. Now down here where these two web pieces here meet the king post and the bottom cord, that's laid out here and I can still use that same gusset on this one right here. The diagonals here, the webs, they go up where they meet the top cord here and that angle is going to be, you know, it's not exactly laid on this plywood right now, it's off of it, but it gives me enough that I can figure out how to make the gusset on that. And then here is where the bottom cord is going to meet the top cord that's the angle that I'm going to need right there so I can lay that out to make my gusset for the for between the top cord and the bottom cord. As I said we're going 12 feet and if I go two foot on centers for the trusses uh, two divided by 12 is six. You need six trusses plus you need one more for the end truss. So each one of these is going to have two gussets for each one of these joints. It's going to have two gussets here on the where the bottom uh, the king post meets the bottom cord and it's going to have two gussets where these two diagonals meet the top cord, two gussets where it meets here, and then two gussets for the heel. And then, of course, there's going to be another one where the splice is going to be. And that one will be easy to do because that's just a, it's a two by four, so it's just a four inch wide uh, piece of plywood, two of them, to splice uh, those two boards together, the two bottom cord pieces together. So most of those are going to work over here on this other truss two, except I don't need two of them for each one of this, for this one. I only need one of them for the one gusset each for, for this one because the outside of that will be sheeted completely with plywood with sheeting for the house. And there's going to be one of these regular trusses that I'm going to need gussets on one side because the other side of that truss is going to go flat against the sheeting that's already on the house. So anyway, them laid out here. I'm still going to have to figure out some more gussets for these here, but those are going to be easy enough to do. The main ones are going to be for the this uh, the main trusses here. So now I can uh, either get some thin plywood or something and start laying out templates for those gussets. But anyway, I've got my pattern my uh, my pattern laid out there for them. So now I. And make them anyway that's a start I'll get all those gussets all made up and ready to go and then when we get the weather for it I can put those trusses together I now I thought re remembered reading in that design manual from the University of Iowa they should use half inch plywood on that and I've used 3 8 inch plywood on a whole bunch of things that I've made here that weren't necessarily for the house because I had scrap 3 8 plywood around to use for that but getting reading that book here right just now, that manual just now, uh, it specifically states in there you can use 3 8 inch plywood or half inch plywood. Alright, let's see if I can get something to uh, template, to make templates for those. Well, it's really nice to have an indoor project to do today. I got that paint booth put away yesterday, and I'm glad that I did. Forecast isn't exactly what they said it was going to be. They were projecting heavy rain for the next few days and wind 5 to 10 miles an hour today and maybe 10 to 15 tomorrow. We're not quite getting as heavy a rain as the forecast said we were going to get, but uh, the wind is a lot stronger. 
Now, it's not what it is on the outside coast with the hurricane winds, 100 mile an hour winds that they're getting on the outer coast, or the 60 mile an hour gale winds are getting on the inner channels here south of us. But it is a little more than 5 to 10 miles an hour. Winds probably about 20 miles an hour out there, and we're getting gusts to 35, 40 miles an hour here. Well, this is just the first of the winter storms, of the fall storms. There'll be more coming, and probably worse. But, uh, anyway, it's still nice to be able to work inside, and it's a relief to have that blow-up building down. I'm sure it would have held up to this wind just fine, but it's still settling to have it put away and not have to worry about it out there. So it's all put away, rolled up in the basement. Uh, it still had a little bit of dampness on it. There's still a, bit, a little bit of wet here and there, but I've got it sitting right next to the dehumidifier. And it's in there where it's dry. It's already dried out from what it was yesterday when we put it away. And so it should dry out pretty good. Now I started laying out a mock-up to make templates for the gussets that I need for the trusses on the roof on the addition onto the house. And I got two templates made out. I got one made out for the peak up here, the intersection between the uh, king post or the center web and the top cord. And then I got one made out for where the bottom cord and the top cord intersect here on this uh, outer plate. So now I need a gusset here for where this these webs all to come together down here on this lower cord and then I need a template for the gusset that goes here where this diagonal web meets in with the top cord. So this little mock-up is just laid out on a 4 by 8 shade of plywood. The intersection of where this diagonal brace meets the top cord is right on the edge of the plywood which doesn't give me a full picture of where this uh, gusset's got to go. So I took another short, a small thin piece of plywood here. This is, uh, what is this, 5 sixteenths or something like that. It's something that came off of one of the shipping crates that we had. And I've just put it on top of there and got it on with a clamp to extend that out. So now my top cord comes all the way down here. My diagonal cord uh, brace comes up here. The intersection is right here. So that gives me a better picture of where the joint is and where I need to put the, the gusset for that. And so the gusset, this one's not going to work because we've got to have at least four inches or something like that of uh, material here. Let me look at the diagram they've got in the, actually they use just a square, square ch chunk of wood in here on the plans and they're calling for 2x6 top cord and 2x4 bottom cord, 8x8 square. Well, they don't even show a top gusset. They just show a lap 4 inches wide, but I'm going to make a gusset on that. So, all right, we're going to change things up a little bit. All right, that'll work like that. Yeah. That'll work like that. I can lay, overlay this out on this. I don't need this piece right here. Now I can lay it right out on the material I'm going to use to make the template with. measure back here how far I want this to go on this. Let's say at least six inches, five and a half inches, five and a half inches.
Well, I found my little saw, and it was right where I put it. So here I was cursing out my wife for no good reason. Always good reason to curse her out, I guess. But Anyway, I've got this gusset made out for this joint here, where the top plate, top cord, and this diagonal meet. There's a template for that gusset. Now I need a template for this down here where all of these come together. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> yeah. We lost, lost our cat. She, uh, has a tendency, she's following us all around yesterday while we were working. She has a tendency to get into cars and stuff. And my son got, she got the expedition out there, which he wrecked last summer when he hit a deer. And uh, he went out there to get some stuff out of it. And she jumped in there and got locked in there overnight. So she's probably pretty hungry now. I've got it laid out right now where it goes out on both of these diagonals. And it's flush right now with what I've got laid out as the top of the bottom cord. So I need to lay out three and a half inches here. According to the book here, we don't want this gusset to go all the way down to the bottom of the bottom cord. It should be up a quarter of an inch. I don't know about that. I'll trust the book, I guess. The engineers designed it. But anyway, that's... I'm going to lay this out like this, and this should still probably go up six inches, let's say six inches here, on this center, center cord here, in post, whatever that's called. So I'm just going to make a square out of that, like that, and I suppose just for aesthetics I could just knock these corners off here a little bit it doesn't have to be perfectly square let's see where my my wheels lie here like that yeah I can do that. Just knock those corners off there just a little bit so they're not sharp edges, just for aesthetics. And then I can go ahead and cut that thing out. All right, that looks pretty good. It doesn't have to be cabinet grade work. 
Let me see how that lays out on here. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Just fine for who it's for. Okay. So that gives me all the trust of the gussets templates that I need for the standard truss. And so I need seven trusses. And there's going to be two of these gussets for each one of these. So there's going to be two of these ones for the bottom cord. And it'll be two of the ones for the top cord where it meets up. It'll actually be four of these heel plate ones. And there'll be four of these uh, ones here where the diagonal braces meet. Oh, there's my girl. Squirrel. Kitty, 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 kitty. What you doing? Are you hungry? Come here. Come here and get you something to eat. You want something to eat? You're always hungry. You're always hungry. Come here. Well, come here. Yeah, I'll get you something to eat. Come here. Come here. I got you. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Was you lost? Huh? You don't want something to eat? Huh? What are you doing? You sleep all night in the car? Huh? Did you get lost all night in the car? Huh? Yeah, I know. You're probably... Yeah, it's not what you want. You want the good stuff, don't you? Huh? You want your good stuff? I don't have any of the good stuff. Oh, you're going to eat. You're going to eat and you just want some attention. You haven't had any rubbing or attention all day, have you? No. Did you get abandoned? Huh? Did you get abandoned? All right. I won't touch you anymore. Go ahead and eat in peace. Okay, so I need two each gussets for the for the top up there and there's going to be seven of these trusses but the one that goes against the wall i don't need a truss on the ins uh, gusset on the inside of that one and the one that goes out on the outboard end i don't only need one gusset on that so we'll go six six times two is 12 gussets for that one same thing with the heel plate gusset but i need four of those for each one of them so I need 24 of those. And then down here for the king post gusset, I need 12 of those. And here for the diagonal, where the diagonal meets the top cord, I'll need 24 of those. Uh, that outboard one, I've got to change the design on it. And it, I'm going to need different gussets for it because I'm going to have a whole bunch of uh, vertical webs on it because this one here, we've got two top cords, bottom cord, the king post, and then we've got one, two, three, four more um, vertical webs. So that's a more complex truss because that's going to be the outboard one. And I have to have nailers in there. I don't know that I need all these diagonals in there. I don't, I don't really need all those diagonals in there. We'll make it like that. But I need these vertical posts in there for nailers for the sheeting that goes on the end of the building. According to the engineering specs in here all i need for those gussets is just vertical pieces just the width of the two by four i don't need a, a gusset plate like i've got on these because i don't have a 24 foot board to span that bottom cord i'm going to have to make a splice in it and this recommends putting the splice in it in one of these bays here offset from where the joint is here let's see how long they want that splice to be 16 inches long for a two by four so it would go like eight inches on either side of the splice okay that's not a big deal 
All righty, I think I got it figured out. I just need to cut out the gussets. And I'm going to use 3 8 inch plywood for that. 